Up now for Washington, Dylan Cruz. Looking for his first big league hit right here. The pitch. That one fouled off. Right-hander kicks, deals. And another ball. Struck him out looking. And that's the first strikeout of his major league career. And it could be the first of many. If he meets the goals he set for himself and the expectations others have for him, he doesn't want to just win games. He wants to dominate at this level. Do you think young pitchers can sometimes get too caught up in trying to rack up K's early in their career? Hoog, I think they can. It's kind of like a hitter that doesn't have power. The throw is still hitting the ball over the fence. And so for a guy, even if he doesn't have power stuff or strikeout stuff, a strikeout is still something that makes him stick his chest out a little bit further. Two outs, base is empty. Now at the plate, Andres Chaparro. The wide, the kick, and the one-two. Got him! Strikes out the side to begin the game. What a start. Nothing doing for Washington. And now the Pirates will get their first opportunity. No score. You're dialed into the show. And we're back. And on the mound today, Mitchell Parker. What's the scouting report on him? Well, he's been a very dependable starter for his club. And what stands out for me is that left-handed hitters have really struggled batting below 200 against him. And it just tells me they have a hard time tracking the baseball. Maybe it's the release point. Maybe it's the motion. But just some way, somehow, they've got to figure out a way to pick it up and try to have some success from the left side. Just misses the mark outside the zone. It's a good take. That one, 95 to finish him off. Frustrating end to the at-bat for the hitter, and I'm sure that's going to sit on him for a little while. No one will be ready to hit the fastball. Sometimes you can overthink things, and I think that was the case right there. Brian Reynolds here. Instead of letting the hitter get his arms extended, tied him up a little bit, slightly up, slightly in. One out, base is empty. Pitcher having a pretty tough time getting that swing and miss. Third foul ball in a row. Okay. And that one is in the dirt. And now it's three and two. Stays alive. him swinging. Well, there appears to be no problem settling in that on the mound out there today. It looks pretty that tough to start this oh, one. Watch out the first two hitters of this oh. ball game, and somebody's going to have to put the bat on the ball, put it in play, and get something going. Here's O'Neill Cruz. First two hitters get punched out on strikes. Take some notes from the dugout. When you get your chance, go up there and hit the ball hard somewhere. Bows it off, still one and two. Two outs. Swing and a high fly ball out there towards left field. Wood makes the catch. And that's the third out. Scoreless after one. Set for the start of the inning and stepping in the rookie left fielder James Wood. The wide to kick the pitch. Spoils that one and it remains two and two.
Wouldn't oh. chase that time. Recognize that changeup right out of the hand. Just spit on it. Woody Keller making the calls behind home for us today. And Book, something to keep an eye on is how pitchers utilize the top part of the strike zone. We see a lot more of that in today's game with pitchers going up there with hard stuff. Keller, definitely an umpire that isn't afraid to call strikes up in that part of the strike zone. One away. How much were you aware of the umpire scouting report or even who was going to be That's umpiring? Right. Not a whole lot. I mean, there were a couple of umpires that weren't real good. But outside of that, you just kind of went into the game, especially back when I was playing. One down, base is empty. So a foul ball makes it one and two. As the game has moved along, we see more and more information supplied by teams about the umpires. I've been in clubhouses where they have pictures of all four guys, nicknames, hometowns, and as well hobbies listed just so you can kind of small talk the umpire a little bit <laughs> that's great and that one is lifted in the air Cruz moving under it and it's caught for the out that is it the short two run. outs base is empty CJ. here's CJ Abrams CJ. to hit Two down, nobody on. That ah. clips the zone, and it's one and two. Two outs. Down to the dirt, swing and a miss. Gets to it, on to first. That Out. completes the strikeout, inning over. We'll go to the bottom of the second. No score. And welcome back to the ballpark. Here's Andrew McCutcheon to hit. The designated hitter, Andrew McCutcheon. The line of the pitch. Swings through that one for strike two. One ball, two strikes. And a foul ball, he stays alive. Pretty good pitch there to take a rip at. He wants to get his arms extended. He likes the ball away from him a little bit, just not oh, able to square it up. Three. Cuts and misses. It's a strikeout. Very frustrating right there as a speedy good. potential no, base three, runner three. when with two strikes, you just struggle to put the ball in play. You don't even have to get a hit at that point. You can help your team just by reaching on an error, but some way you got to find a way to shorten up the swing and put the ball in play next time. And now it's Rowdy Telez on the ground right side. Throws the first in time. And that quickly, two away. That exists. The right fielder, Ryan De La Cruz. And now here is Brian De La Cruz. Two out spaces empty. Next oh. offering in there for a strike. And the one count, two. one and two. Bounced out to short. Abrams throws to first. And it's a one, two, three inning. So they go quietly there. We play two full, no score. Here in Pittsburgh, now Hebert Ruiz. Next offering misses, and it's two and one. And that one fouled off. Here's a two two. Gets a piece. And stays a lot. Flew open a little bit with that front shoulder, but was able to slow his back down just enough to make contact with that pitch. Keep the bat alive. Dela Cruz squeezes it, and there's one down. The second base. And now it's Luis Garcia. The one-two. Battling here as he fouls it away. Oh. 
Swing and a pop off in foul ground. Drifts towards it. Makes the grab. Two up, two down. Got it. Got it. The center fielder. Here's the center fielder. Two down, nobody on. Out to short, Williams. Nats go down one, two, three. Nationals go quietly, and we're still knotted at zero. Back here at PNC Park, bottom of the inning, at the plate for Pittsburgh, number 19. Three. Kicks and fires. Right through there for a strike. ground to third and that one handled on the run sends it over to first yeah, leadoff hitter gone in the third so next to the plate for Pittsburgh Henry Davis still tied at zero last of the third that one misses and a count two and one its way through for a hit. So they get a man aboard with a one-out single. Henry Davis with his first major league hit, and this is a moment I'm sure he'll never forget. Congrats. Yeah, great moment for him and his family. A guy works so hard and has to wait so long for this to happen, and when it does, it can kind of be overwhelming, Luke. You still have to stay locked in on the game, but it's great when you could take a minute to just appreciate what you've done and how hard you've worked to get here. Runner on at first with one gone. Now it's the shortstop, Alika Williams. And a pitch. And that one pulled foul. Kicks and deals. Now fly ball to right center. Cruz racing over to make the catch. Now that second baseman, Nick Gonzalez. Back to the top of the lineup, and here is Nick Gonzalez. In the air, center field. Under it. Makes the grab, and that'll end the inning. Pirates leave one. Still no score. Start of the fourth, and now here's the Nationals leadoff right man, right Dylan Cruz. Dylan Cruz. The wide of the pitch. No. Just missed. You know, these Nationals, as this game goes on, have to be more disciplined at the plate. So many of their outs have come from weak contact on pitches. They're chasing outside of the strike zone. You can't do much of anything with those locations, and that's been true again today. In the air, left field. Reynolds gets under it. Puts it away for the out. And there's one away. And as a pitcher, when the hitters are swinging at everything, you feel no need to challenge inside the zone. You just keep working the corners and expanding that strike zone and beyond, and they just keep eating right out of your hand. The Nats yet to pick up a hit here. Next pitch is inside. And that's ball two. That one drilled left field. He's got his two away.
Next to hit for the Nats, Andres Chaparro. Two outs. The right-hander gives up the two-out walk. One of the things about that two-out walk, the base runner over at first base is going to have a the very line aggressive line secondary lead. So a ball down yeah. the line or an into the gap Whoa. will produce a two-out RBI, and those are the best. That is if you are the offensive side of it. And a pitch. Dives, but it kicks off his glove. Safe at first as they can't make the play. James Wood with his first major league hit. And this is a moment I'm sure he'll never forget. Congrats. Yeah, great moment for him and his family. A guy works so hard and has to wait so long for this to happen. And when it does, it can kind of be overwhelming, dude. You still have to stay locked in on the game, but it's great when you can take a minute to just appreciate what you've done and how hard you've worked to get here. So two down, here's Juan Yepes. Two on, two outs. Comes up empty, that's strike two. Two ball, two strike. Fourth inning underway, no score. And a pop-up, right side, foul territory. Telez drifts towards it. He's got it. And that's the third out. So the Nats leave a pair, and we are still scoreless. And we're back. Bottom four at the plate for Pittsburgh. Ryan Reynolds. The pitch. Hit. So a man on base to start the inning. No, no, no. Brian no, Reynolds no, no, no. with his first oh, major yeah. league hit. And this is a moment I'm sure he'll never forget. Congrats. Yeah, great moment for him and his family. A guy works so hard and has to wait so long for this to happen. And when it does, it can kind of be overwhelming, dude. You still have to stay locked in on the game, but... It's great when you could take a minute to just appreciate what you've done and how hard you've worked to get here. And now the center fielder, O'Neill Cruz. The 1 1. Just no. missed. Well, here's a good opportunity in this inning to get on the scoreboard after that leadoff hit and hard the order coming up right behind them. This is where they need to get going. Left hand batter waits. Ball. Oh, and there's the ball. Andrew McCutcheon waits on deck for Pittsburgh. <laughs> Foul back our way, and that's out of play. With two strikes, may see some movement over there at first base, trying to stay out of the double play right here. He goes down looking. Just excellent location on that inside fastball. It really locked him up. And it's a hitter. It's not typically what you're looking for. You're trying to protect away and mid end So you can be a little bit tardy with two strikes. Hard to tell if he was fooled or if he thought it would be called the ball. But either way, that's a really nice pitch. And now it's Andrew McCutcheon. Swing and a miss. And that's strike two. Two, two. And at first one away. Gets a piece there. We'll do it again. Here's the 2-2. And another ball. Here's a swing and a drive left field. And he knew it. Gigantic blast. It's 2 nothing. That one just sounded different. And yeah, might have been the loudest moment yet. Man, my ears are ringing. I can feel that swing from the boot.
Looks like this guy was looking out over the plate, but he was ready to turn on the inside fastball. So direct to the pitch. Absolutely blasted out of this ballpark. Base is empty, one away. Here's Rowdy Telez. Swing and a miss. It's two, two and two. He's two pitching strike. well, but not throwing a ton of first pitch strikes. Usually doesn't work out for success, but you can never predict baseball. And a 2-2. Two -two. And down on strikes he goes. That's out number two. Now that right fielder. And now Brian De La Cruz. De La Cruz. Two down, nobody on. Yep. And that one clips the corner. Two, and two. another ball. The 2-2. Two, two. Knocks that one away, and we'll do it again. The pitch. That one down the line, and it stays fair. Brian De La Cruz with his first major league hit, and this is a moment I'm sure he'll never forget. Congrats. Yeah, great, great moment for him and his family. A guy works so hard and has to wait so long for this to happen. And when it does, it can kind of be overwhelming, dude. You still have to stay locked in on the game, but it's great when you can take a minute to just appreciate what you've done and how hard you've worked to get here. Now the third baseman. At the belt and fires. That well, one dude. missed. De La Cruz off of first with two away. Next offering in there for a strike. That is strike two. Two ball, two strike. That okay. one missing low. 3-2, two, two out, runner on first. A lot of movement in the infield. Hitters got to stay focused on the pitch. And ball four, two aboard. Oh, do you think you could draw a walk in the bigs if we gave you enough at bats? Oh, that's, that's a good question. Um, I think that if they gave the pitcher a full scouting report on me, yes, I think I could draw a walk. Two outs, a couple of base runners at first and second. Next offering upstairs. Could be some action here on this next pitch. Couple runners on. Probably a challenge pitch coming. And that's too high. Alika Williams up next. The 3 1. And boy, that was the pitch. 3-1, you want to be really aggressive on the fastball. Chopped left side. And that chance handled. Sends it across the first. They limit the damage here. Cannonball coming. And it's two zip. It's Major League Baseball on the show. And welcome back to the ballpark. Ready now for the fifth inning. And now up for Washington, C.J. Abrams. Well, after putting up a nice inning on offense, got some runs across, this is where you look for the starter to go out there, have a shutdown oh, inning. Down. Don't give that other team any hope. 
Uh, you just hope that he can get through this inning, get the bats back up there while they're hot. Well, these Nats showing great discipline at the plate, and patience definitely seems to be the name of their game in this one. Starter's leash has to be getting tighter with this pitch count where it is, but so far he's been really effective in this one. And now it's no, Kiber no, no. Ruiz. You know, sometimes Ruiz. it just takes getting to the bullpen in order to be able to score runs, and that might be the case today. That Whoa. misses. And it's two and one. That's e down and in. Here's an opportunity to do some damage and perhaps unlock this offense. Three one count. Be ready to turn on a fastball. Right into the plate. And a foul ball. Foul. We'll see another payoff pitch. Base is empty one away. And we're at the top of the fifth. Up the middle. Gonzalez. And the first two Out. set down to the top of the fifth. The batter of the two. Up now for Washington, Luis Garcia. Two outs. There's a swing and a drive. Dela Cruz ranging back. And that one is off the top of the wall. They're still chasing it as he rounds second. And he's there at third with a triple. Luis Garcia with his first major league hit. And this is a moment I'm sure he'll never forget. Congrats. Yeah, great moment for him and his family. A guy works so hard and has to wait so long for this to happen. And when it does, it can kind of be overwhelming, Boog. You still have to stay locked in on the game, but... It's great when you could take a minute to just appreciate what you've done and how hard you've worked to get here. Man in scoring position with two away. Here's the center fielder. And the righty deals. Swing and a miss. Ugly swing right there. He's pitching well, but not throwing a ton of first pitch strikes. He usually doesn't work out for success, but he can never predict baseball. And right back to the mound. Sends it to first, and that is that. He continues to roll on the mound as five shutout innings are in the books. It's the Pirates two and the Nationals nothing. Back here in Pittsburgh, and now the shortstop, Alika Williams. One really cool moment I remember at PNC Park is the 2006 Home Run Derby during All-Star Weekend. David Ortiz and Ryan Howard each hit homers into the Allegheny River on the fly. Really awesome to watch. Good spot there, but didn't get the strike at the knees and doesn't seem too convinced by the call out there on the mound as he tries to get a better sense of the umpire strike zone. Out towards right center field, Cruz pulls it in on the run. Now, the second base. Now here is Nick Gonzalez. One down, base is empty. That's a base hit. Nick Gonzalez with his first major league hit and this is a moment I'm sure he'll never forget. Congrats. Yeah great moment for him and his family. A guy works so hard and has to wait so long for this to happen and when it does it can kind of be overwhelming. Luke. You still have to stay locked in on the game but it's great when you could take a minute to just appreciate what you've done and how hard you've worked to get here. Man at first with one gone. Now the left fielder, Brian Reynolds. The 1-1. One -one. Runner takes off. Foul ball there.
Runner goes again. Pitch inside. Save in second, and that was not close. Swings through that one. It's a strikeout. Thought it was a pretty good pitch. Top of the strike zone. We're seeing more fastballs in that location. Hitters, especially when two strikes, have to be ready to pull the trigger. And now the center fielder, O'Neill Cruz. Man at second. Swinging a foul over the screen and back out of play. Ball and two. another ball. Two ball, two strikes. The 2 2 on the way. Swing and a ground ball out to short. Over to first. Out. That ends the frame. So one left for Pittsburgh, but they hold the 2 0 lead. All set for the top of the sixth. Now it's the right fielder, Dylan Cruz. And a 1 1. Swing and a miss. It really looks like these hitters have been in between with their timing today. Good fastball, excellent slider, but they've not been able to commit to one velocity and stay there. Slider misses outside. Line of the pitch. Keeps the at bat going with a foul ball. What a looking for the K. Jose Tena now at the plate. Now the Pirates up by two, and we're in the top half of the sixth. Swing and a miss struck him out. Tasked with one, two, and three to start this inning, but no trouble so far. I'm sure he'd love to strike out the side here. Make a little statement, but you've got to be composed in this spot. Focus on getting this next guy. You got two good outs. Want to get the third one and avoid the middle of that lineup coming up with a base runner. It could become dangerous. Fights that one away, still one and two. Two down, nobody on. And he grounds one back up the middle. Tosses to first, and it's a one, two, three inning. Nothing doing for Washington. They trail things here, two nothing. They hand the ball over to a new arm, Robert Garcia. And this is the best way to make your major league debut. No one on base. Yeah, you're already going to be a little nervous out there, so I think it's a nice job by the skipper to get him in here without any added pressure or traffic on the bases. Now a high fly ball out to left center. Wood sizing this one up. Makes the catch for the out. And a quick out number one. So digging in, Rowdy Telez. Base is empty one away here in the bottom of the sixth. Next offering is in for a strike. Meanwhile, activity in the bullpen. Jacob Barnes looks to be getting ready for Dave Martinez. Number 64 getting loose as well. One down, base is empty. That misses. Two balls, two strikes. Wouldn't Wolf chase down. that time. And a 3-2. And they'll do it again.
Here comes a 3 2. Cuts on it and misses. That's a strikeout. Couldn't catch up to the heater. Up next for the Pirates, Ryan De La Cruz. And a pitch. That one way inside. And now the lefty. Now a bullet to second base, but he's got it to end the inning. Three up, three down that time. Seventh inning coming up. It's the Pirates two and the Nationals nothing. Welcome now, back. We're in the seventh. We have a new pitcher on the mound. Aroldis Chapman on for his major league debut. So we'll see if he's ready for the big stage. He just has to remember this is the same game that he's played all the way through the minor leagues to this point. The only difference, there are just more people in the stands and it's a bigger stadium. But the game itself is still the same. Look at the catcher, whatever fingers he puts down, that's what you throw, and just let him lead you in this one. Here's a 1 1. And another ball. Next offer in there for a strike. And it's two and two. It's been tough for the offense so far, but you can't get frustrated. You gotta find a way to shake it off. Go up there and relax. That's the only way you're gonna be able to put runs up on the board. The pitch. Not okay. even close there. And it's three and two. In the air right field. Dela Cruz sizes this one up, makes the grab one away. Now back the first base. And now it's Juan Yepes. One down, base is empty. High fly ball near the pole. That one is power. Here comes a pitch. And That's a good the eye there. Really good take, especially with two strikes. Fights it off, you'll see another. And here it comes. Still two and two after the foul ball. Pitch. Oh, Got him straight for the strikeout. Gassed it right by him. Well, I see it more commonly in the sport these days, but man, a triple digit fastball blown right by someone is still pretty awesome to witness. I mean, you got to be geared up and ready to swing it when a guy like this comes out of the bullpen because that fastball, it eats, and if you're not ready, you're going to be walking back to the dugout. Swing and a miss. One ball. As he was out front that time. Movement in the bullpen. David Bettnar preparing to come on if needed. Nicholas, a hard throwing right hander, up as well. Ball. And there's a ball. Lays out, but he can't squeeze it. No throw, and they come away without an out. Now, now. C.J. Abrams with his first major league hit, and this is a moment I'm sure he'll never forget. Congrats. Yeah, great moment for him and his family. A guy works so hard and has to wait so long for this to happen, and when it does, it can kind of be overwhelming, Boog. You still have to stay locked in on the game, but... It's great when you could take a minute to just appreciate what you've done and how hard you've worked to get here. Kyle Nicholas on a pitch out of the pen here. On for his major league debut and a moment he will never forget. Better believe that. It's always so special the first time you get into a big league ball game. I did it as a position player, but for him as a pitcher, I'm sure there's some nerves there. Probably don't want to squeeze the baseball too tight. Just relax and do what you're capable of doing. And now, Hebert Ruiz. Ah. For the second, and that'll let the inning. The 
catcher definitely looked ready for that stolen base attempt. Got in position quickly and a strike down the second base to end the inning. Back here at PNC Park, here's the third baseman, number 19. Three That one ripped right center field. That's back there. It has the distance gone. A massive home run. And they add on. It's 3-0. Already playing with the lead, and now they're celebrating a home run. They're having a great time out there. It's like he's playing wiffle ball up there, and that's typically not the easiest way to hit a home run. It's the slight opposite field into the gap. Man, making it look easy, that's for sure. They go with one of their more experienced arms in this spot, Jacob Barnes. Now, and he comes on here for the first time this season, and I'm sure there's some nerves involved in that, so we'll see how he settles in. Henry Davis, the next pirate to hit. Righty delivers. No. Just missed. Always exciting to see a leadoff One home run in an inning. Kind of gets the offense fired up, and you start to expect a big inning. Nobody on, nobody out with a run in here at the bottom of the seventh. That no, one misses. Now three and one. And yeah, there's ball, ball four. four. Take your base. Trying to work his way back into the count right there, but so much for that. Pretty now good bad pitch, bad. but just doesn't That's get the call on 3 0. So, man aboard. Williams. So, next to the plate for Pittsburgh, Alika Williams. Here's a 1 1. There goes the runner. Swing and a miss. Low throw, and he can't take it out. Still a one and two count. And he deals. On a line, base hit. Around third. He will score, and it's 4 nothing. So he gets two milestones with that hit, his first big league knock, and he drives in his first run as well. Yeah, you love to get both of those out of the way with just one swing of the bat, and it makes the special moment even more special. It's not just an individual accomplishment when you're also driving in a run for your team. That's an at-bat he's never going to forget. So the batting order turns over. And now the Pirates leadoff man, Nick Gonzalez. And the right-hander deals. Runner on the goal. Stays alive. Williams aboard here at first with nobody out. Swings through it, and that's a strikeout. Man at first, now, digging in is the switch hitting outfielder, Brian Reynolds. Barnes throws over, he's and there. he's back safely. Still only one out here in the inning. The kick and the pitch. Runner goes. There's a ball. Save and sack him with a stolen base. Well, he looked over once just before the pitch to check on him, but that didn't seem to slow up his jump on the pitch at all. I think that guy's been studying some video. Awesome job to be prepared. Got the timing down, and he gets in the scoring position. And that one is inside. Oh. 
hit in the air center field and they take care of Reynolds for the out two away down now batting the center fielder O'Neill at the plate for Pittsburgh O'Neill Cruz this kid picked up in a trade a lot was offered and given to get him but he's got a real high ceiling X and misses it's a strikeout so they get two runs on two hits one of them left the yard eighth inning coming up it's the Pirates four and the Nationals nothing. And we're back. And now, Hebert Ruiz. The Nationals in striking distance, but have some work to do. Boog, it starts with the leadoff, man. I need a good at bat out of him right here. And the pitch. Late that time, it's strike two. Man, 91 on the slider right there. That's a hard one. That's a low end fastball for some pitchers. Ripped on a line. Balls it in for the out. And there's one down. Now that the second base. Next to hit for the Nats, Luis Garcia. Ball, another 2 2 upcoming. One down, base is empty. Swags and misses, struck him out. With that kind of velocity and elevated fastball, even if it's still in the strike zone, can be tough for hitters to get on top of. Here's the center fielder. Two outs. And that one a little below the knees. And a count two and one. And downstairs. Two down, nobody on. Foul ball. The pitch. On the ground. The throw to first. Out. Nets go down one, two, three. Nationals go quietly. They trail it here for nothing. Now on the mound for the Nationals, number 64. This is his first appearance of the season. To the plate now for Mini Pittsburgh is the D.H. Andrew the McCutcheon. Andrew McCutcheon. Swing and a miss as he was out front. Well, there's a certain point where you have to commit to what you think you see, and he guessed wrong right there. Nasty slider with just terrific bite at the end. And another ball. Looking and one gone. The first base is number 40. Now it's going to be Rowdy Telez. Base is empty, one away. Here, the bottom half of the eighth inning. Swing and a high fly ball, deep left field. That one back there. Gone. That one felt good. And they add a run, it's five zip. That's their third home run of the game. They're having a lot of fun at the plate in this one. They've got the long ball working for them on autopilot. That's the exact definition of hitting the ball where it's pitched, taking that outside fastball and driving it the opposite way out of the ballpark. You want to bottle that type of approach.
One out, base is empty. And now the right fielder, Brian De La Cruz. The pitch. And that one fouled off. Right hander kicks deals up ball and three. in and that's ball three oh, yeah. the Nationals have some action going in the pen Tanner Rainey looks to be getting ready for Dave Martinez number 53 the lefty warming up as well oh. got him swinging. Three. The bat. The third base. Two outs, base is empty. Now the third baseman. This is a guy who's in the line of first and foremost because of what he contributes defensively, Chris. And when you talk about preventing runs from being scored, this guy is a big contributor. I was always told it's hard to take you off the field when you play really good defense, especially at a premier position. And that's what he does. And that'll do it. One in the inning for the Pirates on this solo homer. Last chance coming up here for the Nationals. We're back. It's the top of the ninth. And there's a new pitcher on the mound, Paul Skeens. And you know, bullpen guys can struggle sometimes when they're called upon with big leads because it just doesn't have the same intensity as a tight game. So we'll see how sharp he is. Your mental toughness matters in situations like this as well. And a strike right through there. That one in triple digits. Fouls it off. Still one and two. The hitting's going to come around. He's going to figure it out. But right now, his big asset is the way he plays the game on defense. And a pitch. Got it by him for the K. And he'll be beating himself up on the way back to the dugout. The Got a pitch to hit and just couldn't get to it. I think that slider really caught way more of the plate than it was supposed to. Back to the mound. Boots it. But plenty of time to recover. And that's the second out. Last chance for the Nats in this one. Andres Chaparro digging in for the Nationals. Two outs. They're down to their final strike. Activity in Pittsburgh's bullpen. Ryan Barucki loosening up in case he's called upon by Derek Shelton. Santana getting cranked up as well. One strike away. Spoils that one and it remains two and two. And that's outside. Well struck right field. Way back there. And gone! And they're on the board. It's 5-1. This game just got a little more interesting with that home run. That's the exact definition of hitting the ball where it's pitched, taking that outside fastball and driving it the opposite way out of the ballpark. You want to bottle that type of approach. Two outs, nobody on. Now here is James Wood. That's Ball. inside. Two balls, one strike. The Pirates leading by four here at the top of the ninth. Oof. Next offer is in for a strike. And it skips in the dirt. 
Three two now. Gets a piece and stays alive. Two down, nobody on. And a swing and a miss, and that is the ball game. Jones with his first major league win. Yeah, nicely done. I'm sure he'll feel very good about that and get the ball for his trophy case as he should. A start he won't ever forget. 5-1 is how it ends. For Chris Singleton and our entire crew, I'm John Chompy saying so long.